Greetings. Okay, so this is going to be a general message for the collective of you. <clears throat> okay. okay. Some of you really, really need to detox. I heard salt. So some of you guys might need to take a salt bath or something. You really, really need to detox your energy. Um, there's a lot of dense energies around this season, this time, of, this time of year. A lot of depressive energies as well, but it can be a jolly energy, as it says. Um, but just really cleanse your energy, y'all. Let's see what Divine Spirit wants you to know. What is the message? Holy Spirit. I see Divine Wisdom and Counsel for the Collective. Only Divine Wisdom and Counsel for the Collective. Sensitivity, strength, family tree. Okay. Emotional desert. Hmm. Some of you guys might might not see it, but yeah, prophets and ancient seers. There's something that you are not seeing, though. Like, spirit could be revealing something to you, something very um, powerful for you to take in, and you're not seeing it because of maybe being in isolation. You feel like you're in a deserted energy right now where there's not a lot of flow happening in your life, or you feel like things are kind of dry at the moment or not exactly where you want them to be. For some of you, maybe since Libra season, you might have felt this way. Yeah. Don't be deceived though. Don't be deceived. Because spirit is like divine spirit is saying that no, there's some type of clarity of action that's gonna come to you or direction that's gonna fall into your lap. But you gotta be receptive to receive it. Because you feel like your torch is not lit. You feel like there's no direction, there's nothing to light the way you're just sitting dormant. Not true. This is about divine timing. And whatever is revealed to you, it could be some type of wisdom that is surrounding your family, your bloodline for some of you. Tapping into the strength and the wisdom of your ancestors. These cards kind of like have similar energy. Some of you guys, if you have um, like a forest that you can, like you're blessed enough to have a forest to go to drive to or something like that or just some type of place to reflect and meditate in nature where there's it's really just you and spirit there's not a lot of distractions you know if it's a park it could be a park and i'm getting a lot of trees so somewhere where there's a lot of trees where you can really sit and reflect with yourself because there's something that spirit is about to drop on you i got a similar message i think who is it on it might have been on my other channel for the divine feminine collective of you I feel like it was a similar message but it's like you're waiting for direction and i feel like it's going to come to you it is going to be a spark a divine idea wisdom strategy and how to take action on that or how to move some type of direction is going to be given to you all right i'm gonna pull from my deck The word for you is supplication. So you might want to look that word up, but I'm mean, just supplication. You have not of this world. You have resurrection and rebirth. You have false idol. You have your essence. And you have demonic delays, traps, and snares. Now, again, I'm going to say this. Don't be distracted. Some of you guys have made an idol out of something that you want. That could be some of the delays here. Um, but your energy, your essence, is not of this world. So the way that things are happening or going for you, I know this might be like unfair to hear. But when you're not of this world, you're just in it. Things are not going to come as easy 
and quick and fast as it does maybe for other people that are attached to this world that operate under this 3D, this matrix. When you're going against the matrix, when you're living outside of the game and you're moving in a divine way, you're moving in your own lane, things may not happen as quick or fast as you want them to. Okay? So don't make an idol out of circumstances or where you want to be or what you want and who you want or whatever the case may be because that could be delaying you so you might go through a process where you got to go through the spiritual death in order to reach the spiritual resurrection as well so it's not going to come as easy it's just not but nothing worth it comes easy or just hand it to you you know what i mean so i'm gonna leave it at that you guys I hope this message was helpful, that it resonates with you, that it blesses you, gives you divine insight and wisdom to what you need to know at this time, or maybe confirmation. Much love as always. Be blessed. Peace.